I said, what's up, man? We here with City Cow again, yeah, man. What's up? You got a battle coming up? Who you got? Got your boy Fire Squad's El Dopo Villa. How you feel about El Dopo Villa as an artist, as a battle rapper? I get strong, man. I feel like he's solid, man. I don't do no corny battles. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I feel like he's solid as far as as a man, because that come first and foremost. He got he got two strong performances right now, so he on a he on a I'm saying decline, incline, fucking it up, but he on the uprise. So shout out to Villa though. But it's about to be a body for him, man. He about to step in something, something real. Uh, do you think that El Dobo Villa is like your most aggressive opponent? Uh, in a sense, you know what I'm saying? Y'all could kind of touch that, but yeah, kind of, I, I kind of say that with all the, with the energy and the voice projection. You could be close to that. I can give you that. So yeah. So how do you prepare for an artist like El Dopo? I, I, I don't. I prepare for me getting better. It's, it's about what I bring. Period. I don't, it ain't even. It ain't even never about the other nigga. It's about what I bring. And I mean, in a sense, it ain't. He gonna feel what I'm saying, and he gonna take it home. Like you know what I'm saying. But it's about how I'm preparing. I'm trying to get my shit right and my performance and my. You know what I'm saying? My 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 rhymes and my words together. So that's I prepare like that, just better myself and coming with that shit. Yeah. Alright, um I be say I be hearing you say the misfitted and all that. How'd that come about? Misfitted kind of been in, you know what I'm saying, me like that kinda of been my my claim, like it just what it always been. I never fitted in, like I mean I always felt like was on the outside, like so. It always been like that. I'm just, I'm bringing it into the, you know, what I mean, to the, to the battle world, like, and just exposing that more. But it always been misfitted. It's just getting branded more, put it that way. Yeah. So y'all got Cheech Capone on and Misfitters. How you feel? Yeah, how that come about? Basically, like I said, what I'm saying we did a little business, chopped it up after that. The nigga rock with me, like he, like yeah, I'm down with the cards, man, like. And miss for the play you might as well be down with it. Start fucking niggas up and it was like <laughs> going from there and the nigga was like going hard, repping hard, like that's what I'm saying. Shout out to Cheech, Jiggy one ass dude. Alright, how you feel about Cheech versus Detroit? Who you think won and why do you think that person won? Cheech won to me because it's like Detroit brung what he bring, of course, but it's it ain't no bad performance, it's just when a nigga it's like Anybody can stand in front of that shit and lose type shit. Like, y'all did y'all think, but to me, it was just too much back to back with Cheech. That punching shit, that, that's what's hitting all days, man. Like, back to back, you hitting like that, it's just gonna be too much. You keeping the crowd in tune too much. So I give Cheech the battle because it's interesting the whole, you know what I'm saying, this whole round. I right, said, so out the Detroit, though. Is that how you judge battles, who punches more? Or how do you judge battles? No, I, I definitely don't judge it off of punches more. I just, that's what got me excited to back to back. Like, it definitely got to be a a bunch of, a couple of things that got to go together. Like, one, I want to see that, you know what I'm saying? I would judge it off the confidence and just the, just the confidence and you can tell that you feel what you, what you're saying is that shit. Like, and you bringing that with your performance. Like, performance is heavy nowadays. Like, there's niggas that can't spit for shit, but your performance is crazy. It's just like, it take the room, so the confidence and the performance, and of course the bars always gotta be there. So that's what I could judge it off. Huh? All right, how you feel about judge battles? Um, shit, in a sense, judge battles, I kind of don't rock with it, but I do like as far as on the come up because it could kind of divide some people, and and maybe it could push people in the right room, like to get some money or get paid off this shit. When you up, like you, you one of them no better rappers that, like, on the other side, judges is fuck no, 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 like, no, that shit don't matter. They all winning, <laughs> honestly. Niggas is all winning, you getting paid. That's just how I think about it, like, especially if you, you, you one of them top two things. But judges, I would, I would have to say as a whole, nah, you always let the people discuss that, make it more interesting. All right, after El Dopa, who's next? Got some money in July, man. I believe it's a July card for the street talk when uh, Basket posted battle events, I believe. And 
on some whole way old street talk URL shit. I can't discuss it. I ain't allowed to speak on it, but it's locked in and all that is supposed to go down. Mm -hmm. To my knowledge, everything, you know what I'm saying? both parties locked in, everything, it's a go, but I can't speak on it right now. But July, my next joint, so I guess I'm right after this. Right after this. And it's a, it's a name. I'll say that much, it's a name. All right, all right. All right, sign me out, bro. Already know, man. Shout out Smugged Out TV. Street Talk. It's Misfitted.